brought to you from gaming's biggest rip-off merchants, the game that gave us female World War II soldiers with claws, and the predecessor to one of the best war simulators ever made is the newest game mode on Battlefield. This is what I think about the Battlefield 5 Firestorm gameplay trailer. Another day closer to being dead. All videos created are explicitly my opinion. I am entitled to my opinion, and if you are butthurt by my opinion, then I don't care. If you want to express your opinion, then comment below. Let's just get straight into it, shall we? So we'll keep on starting the fires. Then we'll smoke out the liars. We don't give up when we're tired. That See, multiple planes is a bit better than Fortnite and Apex. There's only ever one plane in, the, in those games. That isn't the way that I'm The map looks fucking massive. This is Firestorm. Battlefield 5's new Battle Royale experience. Fight for survival across... Well, it's obviously going through the same Battle Royale thing that everything else is. Land, air, and sea. See, the fact you can use vehicles is just way better than the other games. I want to be able to crash into someone with a helicopter. I want to be able to shoot people on boats. Snipe someone across the map, you know? Firestorm brings the biggest map ever to the Battlefield franchise. An immense sandbox, ten times bigger than Hamada from Battlefield 5. That's absolutely ridiculous. All with Battlefield's signature gunplay, visuals, combat vehicles. See, normally with Battle Royale modes, the graphics are a lot shitter, but this actually looks alright. Like, it does look like the normal games, and... That's quite good. Plus, how the fuck would that truck be supported by two tiny little parachutes? Whatever, it's not, we're not going for realism here. ...and destructible environments. Oh my god. See, the destructible environments is something I always loved about Battlefield. And the fact you'll be able to do this in a Battle Royale game is fantastic. I want to be able to RPG someone's house and have it all blow up with them all inside. That's, that's going to be great. This is a world dominated by the Firestorm. Fuck. A deadly ring of fire that destroys everything in its path. Oh, that fire looks so hardcore. Fleeing on foot isn't your only option. With 17 vehicles available when Firestorm launches, you'll have a range of... I mean, I'm obviously going to run and try and get the tank every single time, but whatever. ...choices to navigate the battlefield. Just want to say, I haven't seen any women with claws yet, so that's a bonus from me. Out. Whether you're rolling in heavy armor, cruising in a Schwimmwagen. Schwimmwagen? Is that even a fucking. I need to do some research on this. Yep, real thing. Okay, fair enough. Or patrolling the skies with a prototype helicopter. There are a range of vehicles to help you travel faster and fight off enemies. Fuck me, that must have hurt. Gear up as you travel. Common, rare and epic weapons, gadgets and armour are scattered across the map. Well, they've gone for the same sort of system as the other games with the different kind of levels of guns. Which is good, because you like, you like getting the good armour and stuff, so I'm happy with that. If you're downed in a firefight... I would be so pissed off if he was sniping me, fucking campers. You can be revived by teammates. And, new to Firestorm, squeeze off some rounds in a last act of defence. Last act. This is fucking last stand from Call of Duty 4, okay? Stop trying to rip them off. Just come out and go, look, this is last stand, alright? Although not all loot is just lying around. Strong boxes and safes have some of the best items. I like that. That's pretty good. It shouldn't be that easy to get really good stuff. Fair play. If you're willing to take the risk. Vehicle lockups house the rarest land vehicles in. Oi, that already looks like that would take fucking hours to open. Firestorm. And working together will open them faster. Break out a combat vehicle and you might have an advantage. But remember, they could be countered by anti vehicle weaponry and gadgets. Yeah, but how easy is that? If it's just one bullet from an RPG, that's going to be annoying. Because no one's going to use it. Complete a resupply point objective and you'll be rewarded with rare or epic loot for the squad. These won't be easy to obtain. 
Watch for the barrage balloons and you could snag a supply drop, artillery strike, V1 rocket. What the fuck was and that? A tank. This world is a sandbox and every victory is unique. As the firestorm shrinks, your squad will have to adapt to each new situation to become the last one standing. Very, very hardcore. I mean, let's be honest, it looks better than all the other Battle Royale games that are out there. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing it straight away. I obviously didn't buy the game because it looked like a piece of rubbish, um, but I'm going to spend the 20 quid it is now to go to the shop and get it, um, just to give it a go. If you want to see more videos like this where I just react to kind of games and things like that, then subscribe to my channel. I'll, I'll try and do some more. Leave me a comment and give me all the support you got. If you don't want to subscribe, then whatever. I'll get over it.